everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be carrying on with this picture from Erie so the first color that I'm going to go in with is Az azalea pink 082 so this is from the Arteza 120 set sorry so we're going to start with the castle and I'm going to go ahead and do a base coat on the castle with this really light pink and then I'll use a different color to add a bit of shade into it as well so I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody that's already watched part one. Um, I've seen quite a few people have seen it and there's some really nice comments been left on there. So that's always really nice to see. So thank you very much for that. I thought we'd do a nice pink castle, maybe have some purple accents on there just to brighten up the page a little bit because we've done the nighttime scene so it's quite dark anyway. So I wanted to make the castle sort of bright and stand out a bit more. So I'm just gonna go around all the little windows and the little details on the castle. So next I'm going to go in with Mauve, which is 093, and I'm going to use this for the other bits of the castle that we've left. So I thought we'd do it like pink and purple. So again, I'm just going to go in with light pressure and fill in a base coat on this. And I think we'll do alternating roofs. So where I've put the purple, I'm gonna use the azalea pink to do the roof. And then where I've put the pink, I'll use the mauve to do the roofs. So I'll go back in with mauve and just fill in the roofs for the pink ones. It should be mauve. So I'll just go over it with the mauve. Oh, and I missed this little bit here, so I'll fill this in with the mauve. And then do the roof in the azalea pink. Next I'm going to go in with Grenadine 080 and I'm going to use this to add some shade to the pink houses that we've done. So the moon's here so the lighter part would be on the right hand side so I'm going to do the shading down the left hand side for this. So I'll start along the edges, just add a little bit of shade to that. And then just along the top where it meets the roof would be a little bit darker. So I'll just shade that top bit. So we'll do the same for this. This bit would be a bit darker. 
So you just want to use sort of normal pressure when you're against the wall and then just sort of lift the pressure as you come away to blend it in a little bit easier. This bit here would be all dark, so I'm going to fill that in. And then we'll add some shade under the ledge, which I forgot to do for that one. And then just down the side. So again, just lifting the pressure here in the middle one just to blend that over a bit easier. Doing a little bit shade there. And then down here. I'm going to fill this bottom bit in completely because that would all be in shadow. And then just start to blend this out. Go along the roof line. I'm going to fill in darker because they're a lot further back. Okay, and then we'll do the same here. So we'll shade the left hand side and the top edge. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of shade underneath the windows. Okay, so now for the pink roofs. Again, the light would be hitting this side, so I'm going to go ahead and darken up all of this side of the roof. And then I'll just slightly take it down there and just sort of lift the pressure off and just do a little bit on the bottom edge as well. So the same for this. I'm going to darken up all of that and the top and the bottom. This one would be darker on this edge. This one again we'll do all dark and then a little bit of dark on the top and bottom. So now we're going to start on the shading for the mauve and I've picked lavender 063. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. So we'll shade on the left hand side. So I'll start with this big house here. So we'll take this darker colour all the way down this edge here. And fill in under here completely because that would all be shaded. And then just start to lift the pressure to blend this out. I'm going to go ahead and do underneath the roof. And then again, just using some light pressure here to pull the colour down and out. I'm going to add a little bit of shade here. And then for this, I think I'll just shade underneath the roof. Do the left hand side on that one. And we'll do the left hand side on this one.
out underneath the little ledges on this one and then again just down the left hand side go down the left hand side on this one, fill that in completely, all the way down, and then around the roof, and then I'm just going to start to lift the pressure now to blend that out. This bit of roof I'm going to darken up completely because it's right at the back in the dark and I'll do the same for this bit here. So because this is in front this would be cast in a shadow so we'll do the shadow this way. And along here. And then for this roof, we'll darken up this edge and do the top and the bottom. This would have a shadow this side as well because it would be in shade from this. And then this one would be this side from the moon. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with titanium white and I'm going to use this to go over where we've left the lighter parts of the pink and see if it will blend it together and make it look like a nice light pink colour. So I'm going to go over where we've put the darker pink slightly as well and just see if this will blend it all together or whether we'll have to go back in with the lighter pink. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and carry on. So I'm going to go over all the bits where we've left the lighter pink and just blend them all together. Okay, and for the purple ones, I'm going to go back in with mauve and add a bit more colour to this. So again, I'm just using light pressure. And then going back in with titanium white, we're going to go over where we've left the mauve and see if this lightens it all up and brings it all together like it did for the pink. Okay, that worked quite nicely. So I'm gonna go back in with the mauve and just add a little bit more color to all of these. And then I'll go over it again with the white.
So going back in with lavender, which is our darker purple shade, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the windowsills on the pink houses. So I'm just going to fill this in completely. And I'm going to do like these ledges in the darker purple as well. And then going back in with our dark pink, which was Grenadine 080, we're going to do the same for the purple ones. So I'm going to go over the windowsills. And the ledges. And I'm going to do the door frame as well. And then using our lavender, I'm going to fill in this second bit of door frame. So next going in with our Posca pen, I'm just going to go ahead and add some reflections in the window. So I'm just going to do like little lines in a diagonal and just go over the window frame as well so it looks like there's a bit of light coming out. Just do little tiny ones in these little windows. And some in this door. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some highlights where we've left the lighter colour. So that's what our little castle's looking like at the moment. Okay, so next we're gonna make a start on the grass which goes around the castle. So for this I've chosen a sap green, which is 113. So I'll just zoom you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna focus it mainly where the wall is. So I'm just using light pressure here we put this at the bottom of the wall anyway and then I'm going to go around the bottoms of the trees so I'm just using little circular motions here move you over so you can see And then I want it to get a little bit lighter as it comes towards the water. So I'm going to use Cadmium Green Pale, which is 112. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the other edge and then just sort of join it into the moss green. So you can use normal pressure for this and just take it over the moss green because we can always go back over and darken that up.
Okay, so going back in with the sap green, which was the more of a mossy colour, I'm going to go back over and darken up these edges because they would cast a shadow, like the castle and the wall would all cast a shadow. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm just using normal pressure for this. And then just bring it out into the other green. So I wanted to make sure that underneath the trees was quite dark. Okay, so next going in with ultramarine light, I'm going to use this to fill in underneath these trees here where the sky would be peeking through. But I've picked quite a dark colour because it would be shaded from the trees. So I wanted it to look a bit darker than the sky that we had coming down. And I might even put a little bit of black over that just to make it look more like a, you know, like a shadow than sky. Okay, so next taking ivory black, we are going to go over and darken this up a little bit. But I'm just going to use light pressure so that you can still see the blue through it, but it just looks a little bit darker because I don't want it to look completely black. But I did want it to look a little bit more like a shadow. Okay, so next going in with Naples Yellow Light, which is 073. I'm going to go ahead and add like a little bit of lightness to the tops of these trees where the moon is casting some glow onto them. So I'm going to take Cadmium Green 062 and I'm going to do like a base coat on a couple of these trees. So we'll start with this one. And I'm going to go over where I've just put that Naples light because it should just lighten up the colour a little bit. If it, Yeah, you can see it's slightly lighter. And then just go ahead and do a base coat on this tree. And I think we'll do this one the same because they're both little short trees. Next I'm going to go in with Hooker's Green 054, so this is like a darker colour, just zoom you in a little bit better. So I'm going to concentrate this on the bottom of the tree where it would be darker. And we'll do along this edge here, a bit of a shadow from the wall. And then just start to lift the pressure as you bring this colour up. And then for this one, I'm going to shade along this side because this side would be a bit darker because the moon's sort of coming down this way. So I'll just do some light shading on the top and probably to about there. And then just fill this in with a bit more pressure. I'm going to do the bottom edge as well, just darken that up a little bit. So going back in with 062 Cadmium Green, we're going to go ahead and blend this out. So I'm going to use a bit more pressure down here where I've put the darker colour, just to blend it all together. And I'll do the same here. And then here I'm just going to lift the pressure, do it a little bit lighter. And I'm going to go back in with Naples Yellow Light. And just go over 
this little bit the hip we've left here with the reflection from the moon and just lighten that up a little bit. So I'll go ahead and do the same for this one. So I'm just going to go over the dark green. And then just start to lift the pressure as you get to the top of the tree. And go back over with Naples Yellow. Okay, I quite like how that's looking. So I'm going to do the same for this tree here. So I'm going to go ahead and lighten up the top with the Naples Yellow. And then using Cadmium Green, I'm going to do a light base coat. And then hooker's green to darken up the bottom of the tree. And I'm going to go ahead and darken up the edges as well. Because this one is further behind than the other two. And then just start to lift the pressure and blend that out. And I'm going to go back in with cadmium green and again darken this all up. So there you go you guys. I think I'm going to leave it here for this video and we will continue with this next Wednesday. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.